GIS Club gets us out in the world doing real science, like mapping sinkholes. Tony Tuss explains why we have sinkholes in the Juth Mountains. Well, the, they never cave in, but when you turn and made a room, you'd make it about 20 foot wide, and as you progressively brought coal out, you had to bring timbers back in, and they were always, you had a little stick, and you'd measure it, say, well, I need one three inches longer than that stick. You'd put the, take that stick with you, cut your timber, and they'd take a flat piece, sharpen it a little bit, and wedge it, and drive it in with a sledgehammer, and, and put those timbers in. And I'm thinking that that's what we have here now, is those timbers are just rotting out, and there's going to be cave-ins. There has to be. We marked the sinkholes as waypoints to include in our map. Consider hazardous features. They're dangerous to human health and the environment. We've had cattle falling in before. We've had people falling in. I actually have a project and work on another location. A guy was driving a tractor across, and his tractor fell into one that opened up underneath him while he was driving across it. So there are definitely things that we want to work to remediate and mitigate the hazards. club is a really fun club and lately we've been working on ArcGIS online and you can do this thing called story mapping and you can like plot your points on it and just see where people have been and stuff. Because in Montana there's a lot of things you can do and a lot of places to see and um, it's good to know how to use a GPS because you, just to be able to see all the places and do everything you can. GIS because uh, like getting outdoors and like this, finding sinkholes and gathering data from them. And also, it's a good skill to have for your future job. What do you guys enjoy most about our activity out here in the Judith Mountains today? Well, I like that we got to learn about mining and what happens during the process and the effects of what, or the effects of mining itself. Okay, and what about you, Noah? Um, learning what we did in the classroom and then taking it out to the real world and figuring it out. Okay. Making something real. Yeah. My name is Becky Jackson. My husband Mel and I own this ranch here. Here is a sinkhole that has developed um, from the years of mining back in the early century, early part of the century, coal mines. And we um, decided when we found these sinkholes that it would be an interesting project for the local GIS club. We ourselves had two sons that were involved in the GIS club at Lewistown Junior High and to learn a hands-on um, application for using GPS units and GIS technology in the real world I thought was just a great experience. I was a 10-year board member in Lewistown School District and feel real strong about education and hands-on education so um, this is kind of a project we're working on here.